Using a personal free basic email could be killing your credibility without you realizing it. Whether you're launching a new business idea, a side project, or non-profit, having a custom email address like your name at yourbusiness.com instantly boosts your credibility. Today, I'll walk you through setting up a professional email for your business or non-profit, which gives you everything you need to look professional without burning a hole in your pocket month after month. A secret weapon that most new entrepreneurs have no idea exists. Hey, I'm Alan Mungai, and I love helping entrepreneurs just like yourself succeed using simple methods like this. Before we jump in, let me explain why this matters. When potential clients or partners see an email from gmail.com or hotmail.com, it can seem amateur, but an email from your own domain? That shows you're serious. The good news is that looking professional doesn't have to cost much. So we only need two things in order to get your professional email address. First, you need a domain name. So what is a domain name? This is like the address of your house, but for your website. Just like you need an address to find a house, people need a domain name to find a website on the internet. For example, google.com is a domain name. Instead of typing a long set of numbers or IP address, you just type the domain name and it takes you to the website. If you already have one, great. If not, there are plenty of domain registrars out there, but a few international ones I've used include GoDaddy, Namecheap, so let's take a look at those. Awesome. So this is Namecheap. Yeah, you can just go ahead to the domain section and you can type in the kind of domain that you want to register and you can do a search and it's going to let you know whether that domain that you're looking for is available. For example, you can see that the domain that I'm looking for is already taken and that's because I'm the one who took it. But yeah, you can try whatever you want. And then once you have found the domain that you want to purchase, then go ahead and add it to cart. And then once you add it to cart, then there you'll see a checkout button on the bottom of the page. So go ahead and click on the checkout. You can choose to enable premium DNS. It's like four bucks. That's okay. As you don't need a web hosting, just leave this as don't need that one for now because as you can see after one year it's going to be like um, a renewal so one thing you can also hook up when you're doing a domain with namecheap and this is why i like namecheap is you can find a chrome extension called honey and honey will go to find you coupon codes that might be available for you to get savings on your domain name which is pretty cool actually all right so it asked me to sign up I'm just gonna continue to check out got that promo in there so fantastic and then go ahead and confirm the order then you'll be prompted to create an account but in this case i already have a domain so i'm not just gonna buy a new one that was just for the sake of this tutorial once you have a domain name again you can also look up at godaddy and inside of godaddy you can purchase the domain name that you want and you will see all the domain names that are available in your case and then you can go on ahead and select the one that you want and you can add it to cart and similarly you know look good keep going set up your account and definitely purchase that domain so that's how it is easy for you to get a domain name once you have your domain name registered regardless of the domain registrar you've used now it's time for step number two which is create your free mail account for this we're going to use zoho mail but if you're running a non-profit i super strongly recommend using google workspace they'll give you a professional email for zero dollars on every member of your team on the same domain including amazing workspace features more on this check out the link in the description for now we'll just proceed with zoho mail because we're doing this for business so let's go ahead to zoho.com again i'll add these links in the description and once you are in uh, zoho.com you'll see a list of features you don't have to scroll on all of them so let's go to mail and on the mail we'll go ahead and click on pricing and on the pricing you can see how incredibly affordable this is uh, starting at one dollar four dollar three dollars but no we don't here to spend any bucks on this so what we're gonna do is we're gonna scroll all the way to the bottom and you can see a forever free plan where you can have up to five users five gb users 25 mb attachment limit which is you know not bad if you don't intend on sending heavy files so the imap and the pop active sync 
and not including the free plan so if you need to use those then this DAO will be the best time to upgrade to the dollar per month per user so you can see that right and if you want more space it's pretty much affordable you can see right there and this is actually one of the best plans out there when it comes to emails that even most organizations use so you can have this for your business let's go ahead and sign up zoho is asking for the credentials so i'm just going to take you know a few minutes to have this filled out and then you're going to receive a one-time pin so go check it out and copy that paste it in there and then verify fantastic once you've signed up and you've created your account you'll see the email steps that you need to take in order to get started and the first step is you can see you can use a domain you already own or purchase a new domain yeah so if you didn't have already purchased a domain you can also do it from here but in this case we already have an existing domain now you need to enter your domain and then your organization name you can type in your name if you don't have a company registered but if you do have one then go ahead and enter the name of the organization right here and then the industry then go ahead and add now the next step is to proceed to domain verification this is the step where we prove whether the domain is ours so you can see here it's asking to log in into the dns of your of your domain and this is hosted in the domain registrar so in this case i'm just going to go to configure manually i'm going to go to my dashboard my dashboard is with cloudflare all right so i've been able to locate my domain dns whichever domain registrar you're using just find yourself the dns section if it's on Namecheap, then all you have to do is log in, go to the dashboard where all your domains are listed, you navigate to the domain that you want to, to associate with that specific email and hit on manage, Just then go to advanced DNS, and this will be the place where you add the records. So for me, I'm going to be using Cloudflare. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a record and then I'm going to pop back to Zoho mail dashboard. And as you can see, it's going to detect what you're using. So you'll be able to log in from there, copy this. And as you can see, I'm either to leave it blank or enter an at. So it's that very simple. So I'm going to go to my type and I'm going to find the TXT record. And for the name, as we've seen, I'm going to leave it blank or just have it at at and then the content, just go ahead and paste that value. And once done, hit on save and there we go. So I'm going to go back to the same page. I'm going to verify the record, see if it came through yes it just came through the domain ownership was already into place once you have that step done next step is to choose the email that you want for your email address so in this case i want something like hello at alanmungai.com and i'm gonna go ahead and create all right there you have it so your email will be as now you want it right so you've selected the, um, the email address that you want associated with your domain uh, whether that's hello like i have done whether that's hi whether that's info whether that's support uh, that's all great so if you don't want this then you can go ahead and delete this from here if you want to add more then you can add another one from here you can add another user like the first name then the username the username this is let's say the name is john and then the name of the company so it'll, it's going to be like john at alanmungai.com because this is what i choose for my brand and also the last name you can choose right there and then you can have a password auto generate and then you can send credentials via email and then add and then they'll be invited into the email instantly so that's how easy it is then you can also have invitees but this is more of an upgraded uh, version so you don't have to worry about that no you don't necessarily need group and uh, yes you certainly need this because this ones will help with the ability to have your emails land on somebody's inbox and not on somebody's spam folder so we need to add these MX records inside of our domain DNS section so again I'll go back to the DNS section and then copy this value and you can see it's an MX so I'm just gonna go ahead and um, add the record I'm gonna choose this as MX and I'm gonna choose the value right priority has been given as 10 so just go ahead and copy that and go back to the domain uh, dns section and uh, put that into place and have it saved
hey as long as you've done this just give it some time and then come back and verify all the records and all the records have been verified successfully and we're good to go so let's proceed to email migration i have literally nothing to migrate so this is a fresh new professional email domain and so the good thing is you can now also proceed to go mobile click here to download the mobile app and yeah fantastic it looks like they have uh, the zoho mail the zoho mail admin app that's how easy it is so we can go ahead and proceed to setup completion and as you can see congratulations you have your first professional email address check out your inbox yep there we go so you got two inbox you can display the images on the text so this is a dashboard it looks a little bit heavy but the fact that you can get this for free i don't mind at all uh, it's way better than you think and then obviously you'll have this prompt so you can change this to your time also you can have this crafted to how you want it like the language the time zone display all time zones then you can choose to display the name and signature so it's alan and then i'm gonna have email signature and then if you have a phone number you can just paste it in there um the format i don't like this font seems we can change that but more options that's good to go and then proceed the kind of color the theme for your dashboard I like the green and let's proceed access is a home mail there we go fantastic so congratulations now you have a professional email address and uh, they've also sent you the link to access the panel from your phone using this download link so you go ahead and click on that if you want to change this from light mode to dark mode then you can do it from there but i'm just going to keep it at light mode i like it that better this is when notification will be put and then you can choose your profile if you want to do any settings and um, you can change the image it's gonna take you to the uh, Zoho accounts. Yes, there we go. And then the, you can edit more information. Gender, I know myself. Alan, one guy, just have your first name and last name into place. And then have your country and region uh, put into place. Hit on save. And yeah, my email addresses. And then you can add more if you want to. And then your phone numbers, you can also add them here. So you'll never notice that this is a free email address. And I can use this from my dashboard. Okay, let's do a test email to my free gmail account the subject's gonna be testing this out this is a test you don't send there we go right in the inbox how beautiful is that as you can see this is very professional continued from nobody nobody now will take you for granted with such an email address and you can see it's mailed by and it's signed by so that's oozing out authority like your business and your business deserves to have and there you have it this simple step instantly makes your business communication look more professional and trustworthy now that you've set up your professional email you're probably wondering what's next well, check out my previous video where I show you exactly how to use your new professional email for effective email marketing. So what other free business tools would you like me to cover next? Let me know in the comments. And remember, you don't need a big budget to look professional. Sometimes the right free tools are all you need to get started. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.